What's up guys, Shadow Bloke here, and welcome back to another instalment of my fists only run of Fallout 4. Now today we're doing some more stuff for the railroad. I'm off to go and get some mission details to rescue a runaway synth called H222. Because, um, well, I figured it'd be something to do anyway. And now that I've had a little bit of experience with the railroad with my second character, I kind of know which quests I want to do for the channel and which quests are kind of just like... Well, they're just like tiny little odd jobs really, nothing that important. Because I thought last time that this one was, but it turns out it's actually like a proper unique thing. So I figured I'd get that done. Although I'm not quite there yet, even though the location says I am. I've got to go to a dead drop, which is where like they sort of put information about the, the mission and stuff in this mailbox. So now that I've apparently listened to the holotape, I need to meet old man Stockton so that I can get some proper details on this, and I don't know if it's just me, but there's no music. Unless there's, uh, apparently there's music, but there's not any, uh, this is weird. Oh well, I don't know, I thought there was something wrong with, like, maybe the TV or something, but no, there's just no music for some reason. But anyway, this shouldn't take too long, since I'm already practically there. It's a pretty swanky place. Is that a lighthouse? Oh no, it looks, it looks like the, uh, the, uh, Washington Memorial. But, um, obviously it's not, because we're in Boston. Oh, cool, I leveled up. Um, oh, it's just me. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. I don't really have much to trade, since I got rid of all my stuff at the end of the last episode. But now that I've leveled up, I have a plan for what I want to do for my next level ups. I'm going to put as much as I can into agility, because I want to get blitz. That melee distance is significantly increased, which I think will help me out a lot, because I've got all I want with Iron Fist right now, and the next rank doesn't become available until level 31, and bloody mess, that doesn't come available until 31 either, so those are the only really, like, perks that I can get that do damage, although rank 3 of Life Giver would be good, if I got the chance. Slowly regenerate lost health, but anyway, I'm, I'm losing the plot here. No, not... Um, that's not it. I'm just... Ugh. Too many thoughts in my head, trying to think about how to do this. I'm just going to dump all my points into agility as soon as I get the chance so I can get Blitz. Oh, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Oh, uh, I know how to do this. Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting some... Yeah, spy stuff. Feminine persuasion. You're with our mutual friends, yes? Uh, yeah. Well... I suppose I should be a little bit sneaky with this. Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop. You've always got to have, like, one or two guys in, like, a secret agency who are, like, the bruiser types. And Harold Punch Party definitely fits that criteria. Necessary delays is crucial. A trader always has to move his merchandise sufficiently. Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. That would be H222. So this guy is supposed to deliver H222 to a location so that more railroaders can take him safe because he's not really into all that stuff, I don't think. But this is the reason why I wanted to do this. Because, well, it's a nighttime delivery, but it's already night, so... If I can kill the raiders super quickly, then we can get this quest done right now. But I need to get there first, and that's one of the big reasons why I wanted to do this quest, is because it involves me killing a lot of things, which is always good. But I'm not sure how far away it is until I get there. Hopefully it's not too far. Once a, uh, once a set of numbers starts appearing on the markers, then we'll know. I guess I'll just... Oh, there we go. That's the other thing about increasing agility as well, is that it'll give me more AP for VATs and sprinting. Oh, now this place, the uh, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Drugs and Firearms License, I think it stands for, or something. This has got some mad loot in it. I might go and take a look at some other point if I get the time, but it's not exactly got much for me anyway, because it's all just firearms or whatever, but I guess there's some things that I can sell. Okay, I'm not too far away. In fact, whilst I'm on my way there, I'm going to mention something. Is that I've received a, a very generous offer from 
for someone who watches some of my videos of making like a proper intro for my videos and not just like one that I get the ones that I've got at the moment for Fallout 4. I mean like an intro to use for all of my videos like to introduce me as such. So if you're watching this Simon I appreciate you. Now I can't quite get that guy but I guess we can take care of this one. It should be cool anyway. I mean I hope. You can get some good stuff going. Oh, I just... It's so good. Okay. I think since it's still night time that that guy is still gonna come along and we can do everything. Gotta grab all the enhanced pieces of of armor so that I can get all the materials from it. Now, he should be around here somewhere. Aha, there he is. I didn't take very long now, did it? So this is our man. Alright, I should keep this on so I can actually get a good look at him. H222. H2. Here's the person I talked to you about. Um well, I suppose we should be quick, really. There may be more raiders out there. We should make this quick. Quick? Got it. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. See, apparently this guy's not really supposed to talk a lot. Which I can understand. I mean, like, I suppose he doesn't really want to give away the position as such, but I mean, there's nothing really wrong with a little bit of conversation. Someone will be here shortly. Thank you. All right then. That's all right. I'll uh, I'll I suppose I can chat to him while I wait. Hey, H two. From what I've been told, it's probably safer if I don't say anything. I don't want to put you in any more danger. Oh please, I love danger. I appreciate the thought. It's just that you guys are all, well. No one's ever stuck their neck out for me. I wanted to thank you. This world is overwhelming. But you know, I just thought, like you, if this guy's a synth, me feel better then this just you. kind of adds to my point of well, being like... Really... It adds to my point that you synths are basically just Terminators. Because, I, I mean, you've got the Gen 1s and Gen 2s, which are all, like, skeletal-like. And then... You've got this guy, who's literally a cybernetic organism. I'd hate to fight any... Easy well, because... Don't shoot. Fix her. Right? I heard yeah, that's me. Walk the freedom trail, cleared out anyway, sports. as I was saying, like, because Gen 3 synths are basically just like H2. So, um... Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good? Now. Yeah. Let's take a look at our friends. Secret hey, stuff. You okay? But if Gen 3s are like this guy, like the, um, isn't, now, I'm pretty sure that, like, Arnold in Terminators was a T, was he a T-800? Or a T-100 or something? I can't, I can't remember exactly. I mean, I have seen the Terminator films, with the exception of Genesis, but it's, I, I don't know. The main point that I'm trying to get across is that I hope the Institute don't go any further with their synths and start developing synths that are like the T-1000s. Because that'd be a nightmare. Alright, Ticonderoga, here we come. I'll lead the way. Alright then, buddy. We're gonna go and clear out some raiders, are we? This should be good. I don't suppose it'll make much point if I keep my pit boy light on or off, because they're still probably gonna ambush us anyway. In fact, I should quick save it, now that we're getting into some combat. Because I don't want to have to go through all that again. Which would be rather annoying. I've also just got to stay alert. Because there's a lot of... There's a lot of opportunities around here for us to be ambushed. Oh, there's a guy. Charge! <laughs> you know, I figured out you could do that the other day. If you just sprint towards an enemy and then attack, you go straight into a power attack. It's pretty good. I mean, I think it's some kind of power attack anyway. It's definitely a good way of, like, being able to attack enemies while still remaining on the run. It's like a sprinting power attack in Skyrim. If you can think of it that way. In fact, I'll go back into third person so you can get a better look at it. Alright, I'll grab all his stuff. He hasn't really got anything. Where's... Ah, oh, there they are. Alright, here we go. Maybe I should keep this on. There, see? Look at that. Alright, these guys won't take too much trouble. Good 
God, you can tell I'm really not used to playing in third person. That's better. And now I can just stay here whilst... Oh, God, no. I can stay here whilst I grab all these guys' stuff. Oh, that turret's going to kill me if I step out. Uh, I didn't mean to pick that up, but whatever. I can find somewhere to put it. I don't exactly want it. I mean, pipe pistols and just pipe weapons in general hardly sell for anything. Nothing really worth getting. Ooh, ammo stuff. Okay. I'm going to quickly heal myself. See what we've got. Uh, yeah, that's good. All right, now, what's over here? Is it just another turret? Oh, it's up there, so I can't get it. All right, then. Well, maybe I can. Oh, I can. Somehow. All right, let's give this a go. Yeah, I will kill you through the power of telekinetic punches. Harold Punch Party had the zoom punch. I'll have to find some other thing to call this. Like, just being able to... Because I remember a while ago, there was an enemy that I killed from, like, far away. So imagine, like, the enemies where H-22 was. I was over here just throwing punches out, and I was still doing damage to him. Like, I was hitting him with telekinesis. Or just air. Like, throwing... No! It's like a... It's like a Hadouken, in a way. Because Hadouken literally just means surge fist. And you're channeling your chi from your fists, right? So it could be like that kind of thing. He's just channeling his chi from his fists to hit enemies at range. It might not look like a Hadouken right. as such, but you can, you can still do now. it. Now get up so we can actually first. get a move on. Or is he just going to sit there? Maybe he's just wounded or something. I don't think there are any enemies around here. There shouldn't be anyway. I mean, why else would he just be sat there? Or do I have to just keep moving? Or is he broken? Excuse me. Hey, I rise. We can catch up at Tycon. Oh my God! Just keep H two guys. Oh, do we? Yeah. Do we? Ah, oh, does anyone know what's? Hang on a sec. I know that sign. There's a cache hidden around here somewhere. Well, whilst High Rise recovers, I'm gonna see if I can find this this cheeky cache. See, let's check under here. Maybe they've hidden it around somewhere. Oh, hold on. Aha! Excel? Is that... That sounds like a, some kind of drug. Let's have a look. I've heard about it. Whoa there. That seems pretty good. The only problem with Excel, as far as I've heard, is that it's extremely addictive. So I wait until my chem resistant perk gets higher up. Now, unless this guy's going to get up, I'm just going to wait until he does get up. So, give me a minute. Okay, we're up and running now, which is good. I only had to wait for a... Hang on. I spy a super mutant. So let's... Let's just use one stim pack. You'll be good. Yeah, I can see him right there. So let's quick save it. Hopefully we won't have to go near him. No, it looks like we're going the opposite direction. Okay, good. See a spotlight up there. That could be a problem. Oh no, it's targeting those guys. So... Oh no, it's just targeting H2. So... I'm guessing it's some kind of alarm anyway. I'm not really that familiar with how spotlights work because I don't really tend to go into very much depth with all the, like, settlement stuff. I mean, I probably would if I had a character with high charisma because then I could make use of the local leader perk and actually make some decent money out of it. But as for the two characters that I have at the moment, I'm not really that focused on it. I prefer to get my money by killing enemies and taking theirs rather than making my own, as it were. So I don't know how far away it is, this, um, like, Ticondogra thing, this place is. Actually, I think we might already be there. Hey, I rise. And we're here. All in the night's work for you agent types. Huh. Yeah, this was easy. Just part of the service. I think I'm gonna like you even more than glory. If you ever need grub, bullets, uh, just a power nap. Take the elevator up to Tycon. The house is yours. But right now... I need to take care of H2. Later. Cheers, brah. Alright, time to report back to Dr. Carrington on my success. Hey, Doc. Heavy's bloody traipsing around at all hours. Well, that was weird. Take it the H222 situation has been resolved? Of course. But there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. 
So the fate of these two safe houses is basically determined by various little kind of odd jobs that I have to do. Like, and by that, well, you'll see what I mean eventually. Like, it's just the sort of generic icon you get for a side quest like that. It's stuff that you just get that's not really that important. So with that, I think I'm just going to actually end this video off there. I mean, I got what I wanted to out of this thing anyway. I mean, like, um, I... I think that if I kind of try and extend these like too much, I mean obviously I know some videos are a lot longer than others, but I don't know. I think having a few videos here and there that are just a little bit shorter than normal is a nice bit of balance anyway. So with that then, I will see you guys later.